What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Holy shnikes, my geeksies, my freaking l ladies and gentlemen, we have some amazing WWE figure images for you guys today. Elite 64 in the house, and let's just go ahead and pop them up on the screen here. Look at these figures, guys. First off, we'll start off with Seth freaking Rollins in the Burn It Down Royal Rumble 2018 attire. I am obsessed with all of the Seth Rollins figures we are getting, guys. I love Seth Rollins. I love these figures. This new head scan looks incredible. I cannot wait to get my hands on this figure. You can see the mock image there and the loose figure image. These are all brought to us by the good old sponsor, Ringside Collectibles, where you can get all your figures for 10% off using the promo code MDTOYS. But uh, this set looks incredible, guys, and this is just Seth Rollins. Let's move on to John Cena. You can see we are getting him in his green and purple Hulk, you know, inspired sort of colorway. And I am loving this figure, guys. These interchangeable hands are going to change the game for pick fetters and posers alike for photography. We are finally getting You Can't See Me Gesture Hands from my boy John Cena, the GOAT. I'm so happy we're getting this attire because I uh, this is the only attire that I'm pretty much missing in my collection because I never got a custom shirt made, and now I will finally have this attire to uh, end my timeline so far until he returns to WWE. This thing looks amazing. Moving on, guys, here is one half of the Usos. We have Jay Uso, and look at this freaking figure, guys. This red attire, I believe this is from Hell in a Cell, where they fought the New Day. I could be wrong, but uh, he does come with the kendo stick. He comes with the bandana. He comes with a padded vest, and he comes with handcuffs, so this is incredible. So it's pretty much just like the Elite 54, except it has red pants, and the head scan looks a li little bit better. You can see his hair's a little bit differently. It looks sort of shorter, and I like these figures much more than the Elite 54. It just looks a lot better to me. So we do have Jey Uso, and then we have his brother Jimmy Uso, guys, and look at this jacket right here. My God. We are getting a cloth Uso's jacket, and how sick would it be to buy two of the Jimmys and put, you know, a jacket on each guy? I think that would be incredible. I wish they came with hats, but I, I don't know, man. I don't know how you can beat this. These look so insane. Uh, early contender for figure of the year. They actually fixed Jimmy's head scan. He looks a lot better now. I think this is a lot more accurate. It looks a lot better than the uh, Battle Pack one as well. I think this is different. It, it may be slightly similar. But I'm pretty sure that it is pretty much, uh, it's a better one than that one as well. Way better than the Elite, though. So we do have the Usos, we have John Cena, we have Seth Rollins, and then we have the Destroyer, Samoa Joe. Guys, look at Samoa Joe. He comes in his red and black attire. We have gotten this attire before. It is slightly different. I don't think the trunks are any different than the Elite 43. But look at this head scan. They finally got Samoa Joe's head scan right. This is much better than his other head scans that we've gotten. Um, I think they nailed the likeness. And he is coming with his signature, you know, what's up or Hawaii sort of uh, hand gesture there. It's so cool that we're actually getting all these different hand gestures. I thought we were just going to get fists and open hands with these figures. No, guys. They're going above and beyond. They're giving us, you can't see me. They're giving us freaking uh, Samoa Joe's hands. We're getting all kinds of different stuff. Hopefully we get a too sweet hand with AJ Styles or Finn Balor going forward or the club. I would love to see a too sweet hands from some of these guys. But these are brand new Elite 64 images, guys. Again, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles. I think they are up for pre-order right now. I'm not 100% sure. I think somebody should go over there right now and check it out. If they are, I would pre-order the whole set, guys. This, this set is incredible. I think this is one of the best sets ever. The last figure in the set is Kurt Hawkins. You know, we've seen it before. It's going to be the one with the Chase variant. It's got the blue and orange version, and then it's got the black, blue, and orange version that will obviously be, obviously be like the Chase, you know, the more rare version. So uh, they didn't post Kurt Hawkins just yet, I don't think, but uh, the rest of the figures look amazing. I think this is one of the best Elite sets I've ever seen. It's all current guys. It seems like that's a common theme nowadays is that we're getting all common or current guys, but I don't even care, guys. I think th this is amazing, and I'm very happy for this set. Those cloth accessories accessories and everything. There's not one rubber accessory except for the Usos vest and it's not even a big deal. It would be, uh, I think it would be really thin and crappy if that vest with Jey Uso was, uh, was cloth. So I think the rubber with that one is perfect. I, I can't wait for this set, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. These figures, again, look incredible. I think I'm most excited for Seth and the Usos and then probably Cena, then Joe. Um, but who, who cares, guys? You go pre-order the whole set if you can. Use the promo code MDTOYS, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.